Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at Snowpack version 3. Uh, what is Snowpack? Snowpack is a bundleless development time tool for web development. So rather than following the, the idea of something like Webpack or Rollup or Parcel, whereby all of your dependencies are bundled up into one or and then split a little bit, but generally, you know, it's a monolithic structure. You, you combine everything. Um, Snowpack is looking to have a, a very granular approach. So every dependency that you pull in will be a single file, an ESM module file. And the benefit of this is um, the speed, basically. Whenever you, well, the speed uh, doing iterations of development. So whenever you make a change, you've only got to update that file. Um, and the browser has only got to download that file rather than with say webpack you'll make a change updates that file uh, and then it has to rebuild the whole bundle uh, it will cache the things and and you know and in small projects it will be fine and then even in some big projects it's fine but there are scenarios where there will be a noticeable delay in uh, rebuilding the package for you and snowpack uh, attempts to get around that by having that granular approach uh, now, Snowpack version 3 takes it a little bit further because currently, you still say you're using React, you still need to do an npm install for React and then you run Snowpack on it and it creates this uh, web modules folder alongside your node modules folder and that's where it stores the individual ESM module files. Uh, but Snowpack version 3 allows us to use a CDN where all of that has already been done. You, you've got the ESM version uh, ready for you to use and you can just pull that in so um, let's jump in and have a, have a look see how it works all right if I go um, and let's do a snow pack oops no snow pack right and I'll do um, an npm in it and we do need to use npm to install snowpack so let's run that this may take a couple of seconds we'll just speed this bit up okay so that should be the last time we need to use npm in our project here uh, let's open up code and see what we've got at the moment we haven't got much really um, we've just got our node modules from installing Snowpack and our package.json. So let's come back in here and we can now do an MPX Snowpack init and this will create our configuration file and allow us to run Snowpack against this project. Um, so say we wanted to use React. Normally we might do so we'd be doing something like npm install React. Uh, and then we would, if we we're using Snowpack, run Snowpack against it. Um, so that would be the process there. But if we use the, uh, in fact, let me show it to you. If we go to um, skypack.dev, we can pull in using a syntax like this. So let me just copy that one. And we'll go back in here, create a new file. And we would now be wanting to import React. So there are, all, yeah, well, I don't know that all ever, an awful lot of React package, of um, NPM packages are available. So let's copy React. Sorry, let's pull in React and also React DOM. And we'll create a very simple class here just to show it working. We have a very simple render function, and we'll say like so, and we can then write that out. So something like this. So I'll put it out into a section called app. 
Uh, right now, I do need to remember to call this uh, a JSS, JSX file so that Snowpack knows it needs to uh, process that. Uh, let's create then an index.html. And if we just put an app section in, so our React app should look for app and just put that text in there. And then we just want a script that pulls in main.js because it will get converted for us. Uh, we need to remember that we're, we're in the world of modules here now. Um, so this is a type module. Uh, okay, and with that in place, we can now use snowpack uh, dev. That will run up our dev server. And we can see this is snowpack version 3 coming up in there. Uh, let me bring this up alongside it a second. Uh, so yeah, up and running. We didn't do an npm install and any change we make now um, is very quickly shown um, because we're only updating that file. I mean, this is a tiny um, app and it's going to be quick. It's going to be quick even in Webpack or Rolloff or whatever. But this that speed that you're seeing there is the speed you'll see in a massive project because um, it's just going to update that single file that we're doing. Um, so, the, uh, and this is you got to remember this is mainly for development. It's to speed up development. When you're ready to push this to production, you're probably still going to bundle it for, at that point because um, that's still the fastest way um, for for a web browser to pull it down. But you don't need to be doing that in dev, and, and that's slowing you down. So this is this whole snowpack thing is about speeding up your development iterations as you make changes, and, and you want to see that change. Uh, and this actually has been um, into, into Svelte, which is in itself uh, a very fast language uh, framework, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, I might have a look at Svelte uh, with this at some point as well. So uh, there you go, just Snowpack version 3 coming out January uh, 2021. If you enjoyed that video, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you thought it was rubbish. Um, thanks for watching though, and remember to click that subscribe button for future videos. Change the alert bell icon to all notifications. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.